there are currently more than 8 million species of animal around the world, and a lot of them haven't even been identified yet. And yet still, there are quite a number of species that are no longer with us, but as time passes, people have come to learn more about them. And some prehistoric creatures are so big and so hard to believe that some people doubt that they ever even existed. But recent discoveries tell us otherwise. Just recently, there's been a rumor going around saying that a living megalodon was found in the Marianas Trench. Today, we're going to be exploring the truth behind that rumor as well as other prehistoric creatures that will blow your mind. Extinct or non-extinct, the animals on this list have a long history on Earth, and I'm sure you want to know all about them. Stay tuned and find out whether it's true that a living megalodon was found, and find out what is the most amazing prehistoric discovery in recent times. Our first entry is Vicuña. We start the list with an animal that I never thought I'd see on this kind of list. It is called the Vicuña. It's an ancestor of the modern-day alpaca, and it was very important in the Incan culture in South America. Unfortunately, though, this cute animal almost went extinct after the Incan civilization fell. But as always, just like there are bad people around, there are also nice people who have the best intentions when it comes to the well-being of animals. All thanks to the efforts of some conservationists, there are still some vicuñas with us today, and you can find them in the Hascara National Park towards the northern side of Lima, the capital of Peru. The Komodo Dragon now, when you hear the word dragon, you probably think of mythical creatures that only exist in folkloric tales in Skyrim. But that's not true. There are dragons on Earth, and while they don't look like the ones you see in movies, they still look pretty prehistoric and, well, honestly, pretty scary. Even though they're known to rule some Indonesian islands, I mean, they have their own island, the Komodo Island for Pete's sake, there were some recent discoveries of Komodo dragon fossils in eastern Australia that dated back to about 4 million years ago. This shows us just how long these animals have been walking on the surface of our planet. Now, don't be fooled by their looks. They look like lizards, but they're so heavy and in the blink of an eye, they can easily attack humans. The worst of all is that they're venomous, but attacks on humans are very rare. People often come to the islands on which they live and they get rewarded by the amazing landscape around them. It just don't press your luck. The Europe Terrid. I know a lot of people who love talking about animals. I mean, unless we talk about insects and spiders, but hey, they're animals too. And they are pretty awesome if you look at them closely. The biggest ancestor of them all were called Europterids. They were 8-foot sea scorpions and they were at the top of their food chain, with an ability to eat whatever they could catch with their claws. If insects, spiders, and any arthropod scares you, then I'm sure you're glad to know that the largest Europterids are no longer among us. They went extinct. But there are some relatives still hanging around, and who knows? Maybe one day we'll find out that the large sea scorpions are still alive. Our next entry is Garial. Lizards and reptiles are often our easy links to prehistoric times. That's because we usually associate them with dinosaurs. But here's a species of crocodilian that definitely looks like something out of a Jurassic Park or World movie. That could actually kind of reminds me of a Pokemon. It's called the Gariel, but some people call it Gaviol. With its narrow, sword-like mouth, the animal can easily be mistaken for a walking fossil of a prehistoric creature. But that shouldn't surprise us. This animal has been around for tens of millions of years. Unfortunately, though, the animal is heading towards extinction. There's only a handful of them left in Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. But the good news is that a breeding center in Lucknow, India, is doing their best to preserve these species. So more power to them. The Shoebill Stork And here's a bird that doesn't quite look like a bird. The Shoebill Stork is a living prehistoric animal that is linked to multiple relatives. The bird is so old that some people even claim that these birds look like dinosaurs. Today, this prehistoric bird can be observed in parts of the African continent such as the Mabamba Bay wetland in Uganda. But the bird is currently in danger of extinction as it's threatened by habitat destruction and poaching. However, if you ever make it to the swamps in which they live, people say you might feel like you're traveling back to prehistoric times. Our next entry is Thylacosmilus. Next on our list of mind-blowing prehistoric creatures, we have the Thylacosmilus. This prehistoric creature looks like the saber-toothed cat, but studies have shown that it's actually more related to modern-day marsupials. This animal lived in South America, and its fossils were found a hundred years ago by a paleontologist named Elmer Riggs. Now, honestly, I'd associate it more with modern-day big cats, but hey, science tells us that they're most related to possums, so I have no choice but to believe them. 
the musk oxen. It's estimated that this animal has been around for more than 120,000 years, so it's safe to assume that it's a prehistoric creature, even though it looks a lot like many animals we see today. The musk oxen looks like the kind of animal that can easily survive the cold with that warm, hairy coat on them, so it's not a surprise that they've been able to stay around for that long. Even though their population is now decreasing, you can still find a lot of them in Alaska. I'm just not sure if we're able to stand out in the cold for long periods of time just like they do. I mean, we don't have any fur. Bactrian Camel Now just what is the opposite of a musk oxen? Well, that would be the Bactrian Camel, an animal that can stand temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't know how hot that is, just think of those hot days when you were desperately looking for a fan or a room with an air conditioner, and that's pretty much the camel's daily life. That or a common day in Tucson, Arizona. I know that too well. And if that wasn't enough, the camel can also stand below zero freezing temperatures. It's said that the Bactrian camel acquired this ability about two million years ago. While its one humped relative is more known, the two humped Bactrian camel is the one that's been on Earth the longest, and today you can find it in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. Our next entry is the Chambered Nautilus. Some people say that this ancient creature looks like an alien. Even though you can still see it in part of Indonesia, Australia, and even California, there are fossils of this animal that date to 500 million years ago. This makes it one of the oldest animals on this list. We're very lucky to have them alive today, but they're so rare that it makes sense that people confuse them for creatures from outer space. Believe it or not, this animal is actually related to octopuses, squids, and all of those animals in the family of the cephalopods. But what makes the Nautilus different is that they have an outer shell to which they can retract whenever they sense a threat around them. Our next entry is Archaeotherium. When you think of deer, giraffes, and sheep, you think of some of the most peaceful animals in the world. But when you look at their ancestors, you'll see quite the opposite. One of them is the Archaeotherium, which are also known as Hell Pigs. They were as big as a cow, and they could eat anything just like pigs do today. One of their favorite meals was the prehistoric rhino, which shows us that their appetite had no boundaries, and they were certainly not like the cute pigs we see at the farm today. And if you can believe it, you just gotta look at their fossils. I'm sure those big jaws will convince you of nothing else. Now it's time for the day's best pig. The picture I chose for the day shows us a prehistoric creature that became popular a few years ago thanks to Hollywood. But, you know, movies aren't real, and they're just the product of someone's imagination. But there is a video going around that makes us wonder whether this animal is extinct or is just waiting at the bottom of the ocean to make its comeback to the surface in the near future. Megalodon You might know about Megalodon thanks to the movie called The Meg, or that famous scene in Jurassic World in which the Mosasaur eats one. Actually, wait, that's a great white shark. It, semantics. These movies show us what it would be like to have this big shark among us today. But unfortunately, the Megalodon has been extinct since more than two million years ago. Or at least that's what we used to think before this video came to service in 2018, in which a 100-ton shark was seen in the Marianas Trench. The beast was too big to be a regular shark, so a lot of people immediately assumed that it was a Megalodon. The creature was so big that it easily covered the whole frame. However, some experts are still convinced that this creature is not Megalodon. If it still existed, we wouldn't know about it due to its mark on other animals. Also, the depths of the ocean are simply too cold, and Megalodons were known to live in warm temperatures. But if you wonder what they looked like, just think of a short-nosed shark with long pectoral fins, just like blue sharks do today. Some people think it looks like the modern-day great white shark, and some others even claim that the Megalodon is the ancestor of the white shark. However, studies have revealed that the Megalodon was from a totally different lineage of sharks, and sadly, Megalodon was the last one of its kind. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our final entry is Basilosaurus. When we talk about big and epic animals, we always mention the whale. So it makes sense to finish this list with a prehistoric whale. The Basilosaurus lived more than 30 million years ago. And when it became the first prehistoric whale known to science in the year 1834, when it was discovered along the Gulf Coast of the US, at first people thought it was just a huge old lizard. But later studies proved that the animal was actually a marine mammal which made them realize that it was in fact related to whales. 
Years later, other fossils were found around Morocco, Egypt, Tunisia, and Jordan. Some people think it was the largest animal of its era. Studies of its teeth and stomach have shown that the prehistoric beast had a very strong bite and was able to eat fish and large sharks. The extinction of this animal probably came due to volcanic activity, climate change, or a meteor impact. It was definitely a big event that erased a lot of big creatures from the face of the Earth. Which of these prehistoric animals would you like to see? And are there any other prehistoric animals that you like? Well, let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.